What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? You skinny boy, Brandon. How you doing today? What's up, you guys? Welcome, welcome. Mwah! I love you. Thank you so much for being here. You could be anywhere in the garden universe, but you choose to spend a little time with the skinny boy, Randy, and I greatly appreciate you for it. If you're new to my channel, click like and subscribe, you guys. Click that subscribe button down there. Leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, just not the two middle fingers, okay? Okay. Thank you so much for being here. If also... I can't answer a question here. Head on over to my Facebook group, Grinding with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are welcome. They'll be able to answer it over there because somebody's going through what you're going through. Today, we're going to be talking about the Emerging Green Birdhouse, you guys. Thank you so much, Emerging Green. Yes, Emerging Green is also the company who sent us the handmade baskets, you guys. This is a private company who makes their own products, you guys, and I love it. I love it. I love it. I've had this birdhouse for a couple of months, and I just couldn't get around to making the video because the weather and everything just wasn't right, but today is the perfect day to make this video. And people want to know, why are you going to plant, I mean, put a birdhouse near your garden? Okay, because a lot of people think, oh, birds bad, birds bad. No, 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 birds good, birds good. You want to attract the birds and the bees, you guys. So make sure you're planting your flowers, marigolds, zinnias, anything that attracts your pollinators because they're going to help you out this season, you guys. And also the birds will help you out. Mm -hmm. Three tips on why to put a bird house up. Number one, it helps mother nature. These babies will go in here. And they will make a nest and raise their babies. And Mother Nature can keep moving on and doing what she does best, which is pollinating the earth and dropping off seedlings. Okay? Okay! And when I say that, birds will drop seedlings off in your garden you didn't even know you had. Have you ever had a garden and you're looking at it in your garden like, wait a minute, I didn't plant this. Where did this come from? A beautiful plant could be an exotic plant. Yeah, that's just the Lord. Thank you, God, for dropping off a little seedling from somebody else's garden. And we ain't got to buy the seeds, because we ain't got no money to be buying exotic seeds sometimes. But yeah, the bird will pick up seeds or eat something and will leave a little dropping mm -hmm, for you in your garden. And you never know, you might come up with a beautiful plant that you never had and didn't know where it came from. Yeah, a little bird did that for you. Birdhouse, you guys, Emerging Green. Yes, check out Emerging Green, you guys. I love them. They're one of our sponsors. They are so awesome. So today I'm going to be putting this up. I'm not going to make a long video. We're going to put this up. Number two, why you should have a birdhouse. They're going to eat all that hornworm. Remember the hornworms? All those pests and stuff that eat your plant up. I'd rather have a bird eat a couple of tomatoes than have the hornworm eat my whole plant. Okay, so the birds have eyes. I'm going to put mine over there on that tree. The birds have eyes, and these big eyes right here can see, but the birds can see better than me. Okay, they can get down in there and see stuff, micro, uh, micro worms and different things. Not the worms under the ground, but things that are on top and pests that may be eating your plants, beetles and different things like that. Oh, yeah, they'll fly down and get it. So I'm going to put mine right there and overlooking the whole garden. It's going to be on security. Okay, okay. And the third reason. I love listening to birds. I love watching birds fly through. I love watching uh, baby birds come out. It's a very relaxing thing, you guys, to have a bird house and watch it. I don't have one. I'm putting mine up today. You know, we had one growing up, but it was just on a pole. And you can do it either way. So let's just dive right into the video. If you wanted to put your bird house on a pole. Okay, let's start with the beginning. This is the Emerging Green Bird House, you guys. Uh-huh. Thank you, Emerging Green, one of our sponsors, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. They make custom-made products, you guys. And it's a simple birdhouse with a uh, two-inch hole, maybe three, is it two inches? Maybe two-inch hole. And then it lifts up because you need to clean your green, um, <laughs> your greenhouse. I'm always talking about gardening. Now we're talking about a bird. Okay, okay. Yeah, you always need to uh check on your birdhouse because there may be babies in here there may be fungus in here and you know the birds are going to make their own nest you can add things to it like some uh, moss you know break it up for them some cotton and stuff like that but i like to let them do it themselves and then in this container it opens up like that you guys there's a little flap in the front you just take the flap you can go in here and check and make sure there's nothing going on in there or you can check to make sure that the season is over and the babies are gone and then they it came with uh, a little plastic ziplock with a handle where well, uh, a bird rest, I'm assuming. And there's a hole at the end of the bird rest that I guess needs to go here. And the bird can sit on it and watch her nest, okay? So we're going to try to put this together, you guys. And it comes with two screws. 
This is the Emerging Green Bird House. Thank you, Emerging Green. I know I took a long time to make this video, but I told you I'm going to come through for you, okay? Okay, I love you guys. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. We're out here on the picnic table at Skinny Boy Farms. Yes, you guys, there's a tree back there that fell down. I'm going to put my birdhouse over that tree because it took away a lot of branches that were not uh, allowing my plants to get sun. So thank you, God. Some things work out for the best. So what I'm going to do... It's take, let me get you down here. It ain't about me, y'all. It's about the project we're doing. Okay, okay. But yeah, you guys, go to the Dollar Tree and get you some flowers, all types of flowers to put in your garden so you can attract the birds and the bees. You know you need the bees for pollination, but you also need the birds to um, take care of some things that we don't want in our garden. So what I'm going to do, I'm assuming how can I attach the pole, uh, uh the, the rest piece out here. So that means I probably have to put this down on something, maybe. Like that. And I want this on the outside. So I need to drill this way. Okay, you guys. So let's just go ahead and get the drill out. You know I love working with the drill, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. We're doing a video on the birdhouse, you guys. Yes, thank you, Emerging Green, for sending me this product. Now, I'm just going to get my little screw. And place my drill bit in. And we're going to try to... They came with two screws. So I'm assuming the shorter one is for the the uh the base here like that just stick the the screw in like that you guys okay that makes sense just stick the screw in like that and then take this piece here and hold it and let's try to screw this in Yeah, you guys, we're doing some work. It doesn't take much stuff. Oh, we get a little tighter, maybe. And there you have it. Birds don't weigh that much. And wow. Oh, wow, you guys, we just did that, right? We just did that. And so now all we have to do is put it up. And like I said, there's a little latch here that you can close it and cover it. And your bird can sit on it. And then you can also use your your stand that you just put on as a lid. And this, my stand is spinning a little bit. And I don't want my birds to slip off and fall because then they're going to be calling 91 YouTube on me. Telling me I put them in the wrong, I done put them in an unstable environment. Okay, so there we have it, you guys. So now let's just go put up our birdhouse. And I'm going to come over here. Oh, let me show you real quick. Just in case. If you don't have a tree in your yard, get you a uh, $199, $299 uh, steak from Lowe's Home Depot if you can. Yeah, mine came in the mail in a box. So you can order this online. Every, people are, um, are telling me all the time, Randy, you're telling people to order this from Amazon and order this from there. Everybody can't get out to Lowe's and Home Depot, y'all. Everybody can't get out. And you may spend one or two or three more dollars on a product, but for them to bring it to your home, it's well worth it. Okay? Okay. And so Emerging Green shipped all this stuff to me to my home. But you can also take this, and there's a hole at the top that you can base. This on, now I can take this and take the screw that they provided and screw in right here and put it on this pole. You know, just like that. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. I'm just really looking like, oh wow, I just put up a birdhouse. Okay. You can do it that way or you can put it in the tree. I'm gonna put mine in the tree. So let's head on over to the tree. But yes, you guys, these things will eat up your bugs, your worms. You know, birds mean a lot to the world. And the bees. Make sure you're uh, planting your flowers and vegetables. Okay, you guys. So, yeah, there's the mess over there. You guys, I I, I came over and I dug my, my uh, this is my sweet cherry tree out. I'm going to have to replant that 
It didn't snap, you guys, in the snowstorm. Okay, so I'm just gonna go up here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put it high enough so I can reach it. And what I do, or what I have, give me out the way. It's just a chair. It's stable, y'all. It's stable. I'm just gonna stand on this chair like this. Okay. I'm gonna put my birdhouse right here, so I can sit on my deck and look at the birdhouse, listen to the birds, watch the birds, all that good stuff. So we're gonna see how this works. Sorry, you guys, I forgot the drill. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get up on our stand. We're being very careful, you guys. Let's get this right there. And let me move around this side. Making sure my, my chair is stable. And I'm going to put it right here so I can look at it from my deck. Okay? So I'm going to take the screw that they provided, stick it through the front, through the front of the greenhouse so we can put it up here, okay? If you don't have a screwdriver or, or anything like that, use a nail. So let's go. Voila! We did that, y'all, right? I don't know how long this video has been, but we did it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, put your birdhouse up if you can. Now, these birds are able to look over my garden over here and, and take care of all the pests uh, and, and different things that birds eat that we don't want. So, yes, shout out to the Emerging Green Company. The birdhouse is up. I love you guys. I'm trying to not step over all these trees that fell down. But I also want to get the bird. I love you guys. Remember, live, love, laugh, you guys. Grow something, eat it. Don't forget the birds and the bees. We need them for our garden.